no collusion between the Trump and campaign and Russia. GP lawmakers are upset that 250 pages are full of blacked out redactions wanting more to be made public. Democrats are critical of this investigation, saying it wasn't thorough enough. They believe there is evidence of collusion, and Republicans are trying to undermine the special counsel. Fox News, fair and balanced. When it comes to hiring, you don't have time to waste. You need to get to a short list of qualified candidates fast. That's why you need Indeed.com. Post a job in minutes. Set up screener questions based on your job requirements. Then zero in on qualified candidates using our intuitive online dashboard. Your time is precious. Let Indeed help you get to your short list of qualified candidates. Post a job today at Indeed.com slash hire. Search for greatness. Search Indeed. The Giants took Penn State running back Saquon Barkley with the third pick. The Jets took USC quarterback Sam Darnold. The Bills trade up to number seven to take Wyoming signal caller Josh Allen. Then the Cardinals moved up to number ten to take UCLA quarterback Josh Rosen. Peter Schwartz, Fox News. In the NBA playoffs, Milwaukee beat Boston to force a seventh game of that series. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News Radio. Why do you listen to Freedom 970? I think it, it makes you more aware of your community. Oh, the news. I think it's to be uh, aware of well, what's going on. Local news matters to me. It's more locally oriented, which I like. Well, how do you make a decision unless you're informed? News about how we're solving the problems that face us as Americans today. Up to date, up to the minute, and kind of get that late breaking story going on. Well, I think everyone should listen to this. This is a great place to talk. The difference is shocking. Lace is the only body shop in the market that stands up for your right to make sure insurance companies cover 100% of your claim. A recent survey found that insurance companies routinely attempt to settle claims for around 20 cents on the dollar. I don't know about you, but I pay 100% of my premium. I expect 100% of my claim paid. This is why insurers recommend discount body shops. Cutting corners is good business. Don't settle for pennies on the dollar. news that happened at 4.30 this morning. I'll share 
And we have the great General Jack Keane, four-star general, uh, waiting in the wings. Michael Loftus, uh, conservative comedian, uh, fresh off the Kevin James show. Uh, he's got us a, a take on how the late-night comics are dealing with the fact that President Trump is making some historic gains and winning over people socially by Kanye West. How do you make that funny? It's easy to mock, uh, but not really when you have a legitimate, uh, have legitimate accomplishments and legitimate change. Big three. Now, with the biggest things you need to know, to the power of three, yes. it's Brian's Big Three. Number three. You must agree that Obama was not focusing whatsoever on the issues that were affecting black America if you don't think that Trump is right now. Because the numbers are in, and blacks are doing better under his administration. Kanye West is either uh, punking us, or punking the president, or perhaps speaking of, uh, sparking a massive wave of political openness in the black community for Republicans. Will they go and take advantage of this opportunity, or will the GOP continue to hand the urban vote to the opposition party? Number two. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. President. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Special Report. Joining me live in studio, former FBI Director James Comey. A little tougher to get across town without a motorcade. Oh, tough for everybody. Yeah. Today. yeah, he was late for Brent Baer. The power of Fox yesterday's two biggest interviews happened right here on this channel. First, President Trump joined uh, Fox and Friends, Stephen Ainsley and myself. Then former FBI director James Comey sparred with Brett Baer. The reviews of our Trump interview are flat out dishonest, and Comey's admissions with Brett Baer are going to have lasting ramifications. I'll explain. Number one. This is truly historic. This agreement that the North and South Korean leaders have said that they will declare an end to the Korean War at some time this year. They have also confirmed that they have a common goal of achieving a nuclear-free Korean peninsula through complete denuclearization. Huh. Unbelievable. Happened about 4.30 local time. North Korean leader walks to the South Korean side and talks about being one people and jokes about not waking them up anymore with missile, uh, missiles flying overhead in the middle of the night. 65 years of tension. Are we to believe it's all going away? Is this the beginning of the end of the strife and peril? General Jack Keane is not one to get all euphoric about anything. He wants to see hardcore proof. He's a four-star general, former Army, chairman of the Institute for the State of War, and a Fox News senior strategic analyst. General, what do you think about the ramifications of what happened symbolically today? Well, they're pretty serious. Uh, we, we are definitely moving in a direction, and it's a pathway to a resolution of the matter. But let's face it, since 1953, we have seen nothing, nothing like this. I mean, just... Just the discussions yesterday are, are, are pretty amazing. What, what, what came out of those discussions between President Moon and uh, the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is that the North and South Korea is going to push for talks with the United States and potentially China to convert the armistice that ended the Korean War into a peace treaty by the end of the year. The nations, you know, the nations, you know, you know, and you've said it many times, they're still technically at war. And the other nations have to be involved to resolve the armistice because even South Korea was not a signatory to that armistice when it was signed in 1953. They also are setting up a hotline between Kim and Moon to have regular contact and they're establishing liaison offices with both countries. All, obviously, this is all first time thing since 1953. And they decided, uh, come May 1, they're both going to call off all of their propaganda activities that they've been doing, particularly from the South, which were loudspeakers, etc. And then President Moon from South Korea, Bishop Jong Yang. I'll tell you what, that, we'll have a lot of details associated with that, sure does the table for what could be some positive talks between President Trump and Kim Jong-un. So, a couple of things. Uh, General, you understand diplomacy, but you also uh, really understand war. What